morning to everyone here, wherever you may be from. Okay, guys, we're going to be playing five, three, through seven plus three challenges, casual, icing my wrist right now, mouse, mouse, wrist, injury. I should do that off stream before I start. All right, guys, we're going to start in a minute. I've got a challenge from Wikipoo. Wikipedia, 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 and troll on a roll. Rated, of course, fifteen hundred. So, troll, what's the deal with fifteen sixty six? It sounds familiar. What was the year? What was the Battle of Hastings? That was ten, ten sixty six. Close. What happened in 1566? The founding of Kazakhstan? Something random? <laughs> Wikipedia. So you guys can see all my wonderful correspondence games here. I am ready to start in a moment. Got to keep the swelling down in wrist arm. I don't know what I did to my arm. I like banged the door to my office two weeks ago and I think it did something to my to my mouse wrist sometimes I need to just put some ice on it <clears throat> it's still functioning my speed is is not what it used to be all right Pudia who else we got troll in a roll blindfold we played this player long ago, or some other construction of the same type. Yeah, I'm not going to play somebody's blindfold account. Be a guinea pig. Wikipedia, troll a roll. Oh, speaking of guinea pigs, the Hungarian chess organizer wants me to go to a wants me to go to a tournament in in Balaton, an over the board tournament, in like a month. Less than a month. I don't think I'm going to go play an over the board tournament in like three weeks. I don't want to be a chess guinea pig. So, yeah, good luck with that. I have to try to like politely say no. It's hard. I have a hard time. I'm a nice person. I don't like saying no to people. It's been a struggle. It's been a struggle all my life to politely say no. No, I don't want to be a human guinea pig for your chess tournament. Okay, we keep who? We're going to go with the the solid kingside fianchetto here in the Four Knights English. This is riskier than bishop g2. Magnus is preference. Now I could play c5 here. Is this some sort of trap? I've never analyzed this. Yeah, I guess c5, queen e7, bishop g2 should be fine. I don't see anything wrong with c5. Famous last words. I did a little video series on this a couple of years ago for my YouTube channel. For some reason, this exact variation. I don't remember why. I like to play the English. I picked this variation. Knight takes e5. I was wondering why more people don't play knight takes e5. This was traditionally like the main line. Um. Bang, so he's going to win a pawn here. C'est la vie. Wiki poo. Or maybe not. Not so easy. Yeah, he can't just win a pawn. Life is much more complicated than that. Now bishop g5 is interesting. I like how 
to start streaming and there was no no noise at all and this dog starts going off now yesterday during my simul i was starting to get i was starting to get kind of pissed very sensitive to sounds oh no master of pawn structure wikipoo is from france suspicious all right what do i do I don't want you to play d5. Wikipedia. Do you have a good move? Or do I have a good move? Thought he was going to play queen b4 there. What about f4? That's a little risky. I can't allow d5. Could have played this better. I could have played this better, yes. What's wrong with f4? I guess he has knight to c4. He has a check on c5. But still, I mean, this looks like it should be good for white. Not so easy. I realize now my problem. Only chance. Juicebox Wizard's back. Two streams in a row. Yeah, that's interesting. All my pieces are developed. How about you? I mean, fundamentally, wow, can't be serious. This looks exceedingly dangerous for black, exceedingly. Knight d5, my queen is attack. All right. No chirping from the birds, please. <laughs> it's like a joke, seriously. I've been here for like almost an hour before the stream prepping and there was no dog, there was no birds. They hear me, I think they're excited. Discoveries? This has got to be good. There's knight d3, though. So I'm going to get smothered mated now. Rook F1. Wait, 
Wait, what am I doing on Rook F1? I don't think I have that even. I have to take a draw by repetition on worse here. Knight, knight f2 check. I don't even have a draw by repetition. That's good. Wow. not a big believer in development but he's fast I don't know who that could possibly be always catches me the first game of my stream Queen H six. He's going to. He's going to E seven. Getting out. <clears throat> Do I have increment? Three seconds. Good. <clears throat> Because I'm constantly panicking because of my time. He's all about speed. I mean, I could be winning, but I'm low on time. I don't know if I'm actually winning here. I just see a draw. Apparently I was winning. What? Why is the engine claiming I'm winning here? I don't understand. Why is it saying I'm winning? And then it's like, no, you're not winning. That's stupid. Whatever. Apparently I was winning. But it's very complicated. I have 16 seconds left. No, I don't see any Queen H6 troll. I don't understand why he played B6. I mean, doesn't D6 seem like a better move, like keeping G4 under control? And getting some control of D6? I was very surprised when he played this move. Originally, I looked at queen e2, but queen c5 check defends the knight. I didn't know what to make of this, <clears throat> though it does look suspicious for black. I just didn't have enough time to figure it out. All right. A little bit slow in the first game. Dragonoid? Troll on a roll? All these tough players. I'm supposed to be taking subscriber challenges first. Troll. You're not a subscriber? Dragonoid? 
This is a new player, so I don't typically take challenges from people who don't have established accounts. Mr. Ki Kichas? We'll play troll and keep, I don't know, kick ass. Mr. Kick ass. Again, I don't do Serbian. <laughs> All right, whatever. I try to speak Hungarian, it's hard enough. Okay. Black is set up for the next game. Now, that's true. <laughs> that's true now, more than last game. It was horrible what 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 Wikipedia did. Just no respect for development. His position was lost, but I didn't have time to figure it out. I don't know where my time went. I'm busy like commentating all the time. Troll. Only chess 960. Yuck. I'm opening up my queen with this move, but I'm getting a little bit of control in the center. He's so classical. Where's the weak point? H7. Identify and destroy weak point. Wikipedia, very dubious play last game. I actually forgot he could play knight takes c1. So I sacrificed a rook and I was still better. But too much time. What about, what about, what about, what about, what are we doing? Um, guys, welcome to the stream. I'm just trying to wake up here. Mornings are not my thing. Where's Astrobate? He's always here. He must be excited there, opening up the, he's not online actually. Opening up the Las Vegas Strip, slowly, probably. I don't know. Knight g3, b6, what are we gonna do? By knights. Knight f3? I don't know, if he can take? That's all right. <clears throat> I can deal with that. You wanna take my knight? Go ahead. Help yourself. Elf on the shelf. What are we gonna do? D3, e3? I feel like I want to open the game. It's all right, my king's in the center. Am I going to lose an exchange to like this? I don't mind sacrificing an exchange here. That's protected. Whatever. It's weird that Astrobate's not here. Bob, all the regulars. Monday morning. What's up, guys? Let's get some viewership. Sorry, I don't have enough bots. I don't. I don't do like a lot of streamers pay for like bot viewers. I don't think that's really cool. I had some troll account send me a message yesterday. Get more viewers. C5, uh-oh. Oh, do you want to be famous? That's what it says. Um, yeah. Might be five, a tempo. We should go here. I don't give him A6 and B5, like with tempo. How you doing, troll? My king is wide open. Come and get it. Just need to get castled. I could castle queenside if I just move my queen somewhere. Queen d2 castles queenside. No problem. Lots of pawns moved up. How is everybody? How are you? How are you, troll? How about e3?
wonder if I should take, actually. No, you'll have the same move, right? Queen d7. I can play e4. Ready to castle, dude. Mr. Killy. It's hard to get a lot of viewers even for a strong player. Yeah, I don't know. The female chess streamers are at a distinct advantage. That's true. It sucks being old and, and male. Um, all right. Well, I should just stream Fortnite. I wouldn't bother, you know, we could just start streaming like Fortnite or what is that everybody's playing now? Valorant? I've never been in this for the money anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm just here to play chess. Or early 40s. I'm 39. Health Master 2020. Speaking of Health Master, I gotta start exercising. I'm gonna go for a long walk today. This lockdown has had a negative impact. So E4. I feel much more safe when I trade queens. I'm I'm kind of technically skilled in the end game. So quiet here. Uh yeah, it's Lockdown slash morning. I don't know. There's a few regulars missing. But, yeah. What do we got? Endgame? Good to see World Loser. Hey, Blobix, what's up? Well, actually, we had a good signal yesterday. Nothing special results wise, but it was fun. I lost like four or five games. Oh, you can castle. Great. Yeah, you better go there. I think F3 is a good idea. I don't know why, I just have a feeling. So, Blabix, thanks for joining us. Sorry I haven't been to a Gorillas tournament in a little while. Good to see Ayeste. Everyone's welcome to challenge if you have 100 rated games, Max. You don't have to be a subscriber. I do take the subscribers first, but we haven't had any challenges from them. <clears throat> Maybe Osmir is a subscriber. <clears throat> Mondays, Wednesdays, check. No. This is a little bit of a problem. He's slipping away. Black is equalized, I think. I had a good position for a moment there. I thought I was better. <clears throat> Doesn't seem fair that I'm worse or something like that. 
But I don't really know what I'm going to do with my bishop. Put it on e6. It's just a target to be attacked later on. This is extremely frustrating. Giving up my bishop. Guess I can do that. Why did I move that rook? I don't know, why not this rook? Rated games are not allowed. This is my only benefit of this allowing him to take my bishop. I guess I could play rook d1 check here. I can wait on that. Troll is remarkably solid. Long term bishop pair? He's like playing a computer from the 90s or something. No, they were more tactical. Just very solid. He's not so much for tactics. Yeah, I take that back. You're not like a 90s computer. I could take the knight and play with two knights versus two bishops. Seems about equal to me. But anything can happen. It's a tough call, like bishop takes knight. Truthfully, I think the position's about equal. But kind of imbalanced. Interesting. I didn't think you would go for it. Actually, do I have F4? You have Bishop H6 if F4? No. What's going on here? White optically looks better now. I didn't think he would play g6. It looks kind of risky. Jim, you weren't here yesterday? The haircut, man. I hate when it's like going to elementary school again. Everybody comments on your haircut, but that's that's the life of a of a live streamer. <laughs> um, all right. Damn, fixing my pawns. This this is one way to play. It's hard to decide which way to take here. Guess this is the most dynamic, dynamikus in Hungarian. <clears throat> I know, man. I didn't say you said it was bad. I didn't say it. <clears throat> you said it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Bishop h6, nice move. I decided. I decided. I decided. Can't speak properly. It's like a new troll. Now with dynamism. Did 
That's funny. It's like a tactics puzzle. Oh no. New formula. No, I didn't have a haircut since three months. And my beard was out of control too. Now don't start playing well here. This is a guy who used to lose all of his games on time. I'm gonna sue like the ambulances. <laughs> They're hurting my business. How can be how can be ambulances every minute? Now he's gonna lose on time just randomly because I said that. What are you doing? Why are you losing on time randomly? I'm winning, but it's not easy here. Black has a three on one majority on the queen side, and you start pushing that up and co causing problems. Yeah, yeah, it's winning maybe, but but not so easy. Now he just randomly decided to lose on time. Like I was saying. Yeah, I know you can't sue people in Hungary. That's why I don't wanna I don't wanna ride a bicycle. Hungarian drivers are the worst. You know, that's that's a, a good thing in a way. Because the fact that you can sue everyone makes people more careful. You know, here it's like they'll just like blow you away if you're riding a bike or something. It's kind of a problem. Um, no, no, I don't know who's next. Let's see. We have any subscriber challenges? Asmir, is, is Asmir a subscriber? Asmir? You guys? Any other subscribers that are challenging? Mr. Killy's not. Osmir might be a subscriber. Okay. No, Max, you're not next. Those guys are... We'll get Max out of the way. I'll let him play. He's a donator. Oh, okay. Well, we never had anyone in four years, like, announce that they're a donator and demand to play right away. So I don't think that's, like, really... Typical. But we'll let you get out of the way. Let's make an exception to get it over with. Another ambulance. I don't know why I played D5. I don't really like this move. But I'm getting kind of irritated. I think F6 is actually a move here. Wait, you gave, <laughs> if you donated to the World Health Organization, you can play first. Well, I have different levels of credit. This reminds me of actually a game my teammate, Seba Attila had last year, actually this spring, it was like in February, it seems like Maybe it was in January or December. It wasn't that long ago. But I don't like it. I don't normally play D5. Maybe I should have gone with my other knight. And I'm in 
incredibly thirsty. Alexander's horse, what's that? I got a new Rolls Royce. There's that guy that was in the news. Now he reminded me of something Blobix. Some rapper in Atlanta. And he he has like a company. Actually he's like um some kind of, you know, reality TV star. And he got like two hundred no, how much it was like eight hundred thousand dollars or a lot of money, maybe it was two million, I don't remember, for his company from the federal government for like business, like small business lo like relief funds. He immediately like went out and bought like a Rolls Royce and all this stuff. Now he's like being prosecuted. That's pretty dumb, you know. That's extremely dumb. How can people who are that stupid get so much money? I love reality TV. That's why we have Donald Trump as president. What, a French female GM participated? Oh. Are you naming names? Or is it top secret? Marie Sibag. I never met her. Yeah, I'm getting worried there, Jim. I think um, it's it's very possible one of his minions or something. That's almost too much of a coincidence, right? That's what I was thinking. I really thought that guy would leave me alone, you know? After, like, what he did. Queen is a little bit short of squares. It's too much of a coincidence, right? But that was that was an account that was like labeled for cheating too. Ironically. Or it had a previous account that was cheating. He must be bored. Back to troll me some more. We have this.
Yeah, Hun Finn, we had a problem. We had a problem with a with, uh, Finnish I am who was very rude with me. So he's not welcome here anymore. He made a very, very similar comment to you. So I thought it was him. But you're not him, right? Just a coincidence? Very strange coincidence. It's just a bizarre coincidence. That was exactly the first thing he said to me when he came on my stream. But he's definitely not welcome back. What do I do with all these checks? Surprisingly hard to finish white off here. Funny position. <laughs> what do I do? Check here. Yeah, we were all paranoid. Jim has a good memory. I don't think he would remember that. It's a little bit like Wiki Wiki Wikipedia, our first opponent. He just plays too fast. Speed kills. Can I get a forced mate, please? Wikipedia. I don't see the mate though. That's annoying. All right. Yeah, Hunfin, we're all set with that, thanks. This is getting too, too weird now. Let's just drop it. Mr. Kitsa. We got Stefanovich Miklos. I want to say Miklos. You messed up when you played too fast. No, I think you had an okay opening. But you're just playing way too fast. You're making mistakes. I think you had a good position. Well, at least a reasonable position. I don't know. The mistakes are pretty evident. What's up, Lobex? Good to see you. And Jim. All right, we're white here.
Why queen c7 so early? I think I actually faced that once. I don't know, this to start of b4 always an issue, whether I could sacrifice this pawn on e4. There's a lot of situations where you can sacrifice the pawn. You keep the rook on f1 and try to play f4, f5. Nice arrow here. b4 instead of queen c7. Yeah, then we play knight a4. And if they try to take the pawn, they get into a lot of trouble, hopefully. b4, knight a4, knight e4. I guess f4, f5, trying to rip black apart. I've seen even like knight sacrifice, knight sacrifices with things like f4, f5, knight e6. But that's probably easy to look up. I'm sure it's been played before. I wanted to do like a peace sacrifice with 95, possibly. Jim, thanks for the donation, man. Starting off the week. Is there anything bad with the Bitboard? Um, yeah, it does that sometimes. This happened last week too. It actually like didn't show up at first. Seems like Twitch is really lagging for me. Does anybody else have the same? Yeah, it's back. It's just like, you just send a gift, so, I mean, you just send a gift. Cheer, there it is, 200 bits. But you guys can't see it, but it's up. I don't know, Twitch seems really slow to load all the time, for me, at least. Is that the case with everybody? Strange, I've never faced queen c7 and I had to really think about this. I think I might have played it once. I think I played a4. Vaguely remember that now. I swear, I lost in the mass open against Jack Solerman, a game in like 2002. He played queen c7, I tried to open the position with a4, I remember now, and he played b4 and I played knight a2. And I think like we may have traded like e pawn for b pawn or something like that. The game was on the queen side. He's probably a national master. He was already. But I lost against him for the first time. He was a local player, a kid in New England. I haven't heard about him. I haven't lived, you know, full time in the United States since like 2004, 2003. So I've lost contact with all these players who I played in that era. Now I remember it though. He played queen c7 and I played a4, which is not my like normal style. I'm Finn, you just changed color. You're green now. Talked about the Budapest Gambit, how the Gambit got its name or something like that. Yeah, I vaguely remember. Where does my bishop go here?
Yeah. This actually looks almost like a transmission to a game I had this spring against an old Hungarian player. The only difference I think that my bishop might have been on a2 instead of on b3. I'm not sure how much that really affects the position. Can I play knight to d5? No. Where's my time? I don't have any time. I don't like really like my position. I don't have a plan. That's the problem here. Theoretically, I don't like exchanging knights on c6 either. But I started to look at the clock and all these possibilities. I think it's just simpler. Clock beer. We have a few opponents to subscribe to that. Why do I have 20 seconds to my opponents? Three minutes and 30 seconds. Well, it's not theory, you know, Jim. I mean, there is no theory after queen c7. It's not even, anybody even plays that move. It's possible you could transpose back into a line, but I really don't think so after rook e1, bishop e7. I mean, now it feels like an early a3 variation, but what, as I said, I, my bishop would be like on a2 in that case if I had played a3. But black is playing evilly here really well. I'm about to lose on time. On move 15, what have I been doing? I'm 4-0 against him previously. What? That's our current game. What? This was another Nidorf? Oh, that was recently. We played this game the other day. A different kind of Nidorf? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Everybody's so fast. The H3 just was a move. I don't know what to do. So this looks like it's a mistake. Rookie one. This is where I played a4. That game was never recorded in a database, so it was just played in a... It was played in a kind of local tournament. Mass open 
Massachusetts Open 2002 or 2001. I think it went like knight a2, knight e4, knight b4, something like this. But I wasn't happy with that. I just don't know what, don't have time to think of the right move here. The position is about equal. A4 seems like a kind of weird move, but it might be good. I was going to play bishop c1. That doesn't look like it's good enough, though. b4 takes, rook takes, threatening this, and, and a3 lever. What's up today, man? Incredibly fast. I gotta get used to the distractions here. Um, really annoying ambulances, birds, dogs, and and church bells. Why are there church bells? Oh, it's noon again. Okay. Every day there's church bells. I'm not used to living in, in the summertime here. The last couple of years I've been in the United States, um, this time of year. When I stream, I've been streaming from, from inside with the windows closed. 2018, 2019, I was in the US in May. I gotta get used to the, the outdoor sounds. It's hard to concentrate. Yeah, this, this was okay for me. I had knight d5. That's funny, that's what I was trying to do before. I didn't imagine how this would work. That's funny. I actually have this move? Of course I could play bishop takes f6. Or bishop takes d5 immediately, that's a cool tactic. So that was really strong. This is my golden chance. But I guess I was just talking too much. I guess I used up all my time. All right, sorry. That was not a good, not a good time situation. Fockbeer with the, the Fajarwitz. That's popular. Who else played the Fajarwitz? Merle Dixon? No. Somebody else that we played against. Someone on sound. We also played Uber Driver. That was it? Uber Driver? Or was it Merle Dixon? Now defunct. Merle Dixon was a little too good, and finally I got tired of the unbeatable opponent. Yeah, it must have been Uber Driver then. It was Uber, Uber. I used to get them confused and think they were the same person, but they're actually distinctive. I need to just play faster, but I mean, I spend most of my time trying to explain chess to people and then not used to playing fast games. It's kind of hard to change gears. Jesus. Normally I win with increment, but the last game Last night I had to close the window during my simul. I almost like died of oxygen, lack of oxygen. 
I realized that at a time, I almost passed out, I think, during the simul. Streaming from the US though, I had to just contend with lawnmowers. There was no ambulances, dogs, and stuff like church bells. I need like a soundproof room or something. Maybe we should take donations to build a soundproof, soundproof studio. How am I trying to play D5 here? That's like the fourth ambulance in the last 30 minutes. And we don't even have like coronavirus epidemic really. Hungary was extremely lucky. They must go in circles too, because they just like keep coming back around. You can hear it coming for a second row. A second round. A lot of the countries in the region, like Slovakia, Hungary. Maybe Serbia. I'm not sure how good it is in Serbia, but I feel like it's just like, you know, that's how it happened kind of just dumb luck, you know, that this region didn't get hit as hard. I'm way more scared to go to the United States. I'm supposed to go to the US in July. I have a plane ticket. But I don't think I, I wanna go. You know, the epidemic could just like get worse. They don't even have it remotely under control. Um, Greece though, you guys did the best. Seems like Greece had the best result of every country. But again, it's sort of geographical luck. Also, it helps if the government like institutes, you know, measures in a, in a quick amount of time. We're not like in denial that there's a pandemic or something. But see, like everybody here and, and Greece and everywhere saw what happened in Italy and they started doing something about it in time. Like when I, I was talking to people in the United States after the, after the pandemic started in Italy, they're all like clueless. They're like, I'm like, look, I don't know if I'm even coming to the United States. This is in like February because we all knew what was happening in Italy. People in the United States didn't pay attention because we're so close geographically to Italy. The Europeans were like worried about it. I was just surprised how people didn't even know it was a serious thing, you know? They're like, oh yeah, whatever, it's just a flu. Well, not exactly. Number one, North Korea. <laughs> what list are you reading? It sounds like a... Russia's really bad, man. It's going to be interesting to see what happens, though, you know, with the second wave. 
places like Texas reopening their economies. Okay. Another ambulance. I lived in Boston for 15 years almost, and I never heard like half as many ambulances as there are here. Must be a big business. I don't know. They don't make nearly as much money here, too. <laughs> I mean, an ambulance ride in the United States costs like three thousand dollars. You think they would they would crank out more to try to make some more money? In Hungary, it's probably almost nothing. Asterbay, good to have you with us. Yeah, I was reading. I was reading the Washington Post yesterday about all these like old folks' homes. How they they try to get people to how corrupt they are. How they get people to like do a lot of extra stuff like rehabilitation and just to increase the amount of money they're getting from insurance companies. It's scary. You had an experience with an ambulance in the US, $900. That's nothing, man. But that was, that was, okay, that was like, what, 10 years ago or something? No? It would be like 2000 for you now, probably. Yeah, man, they just try to charge whatever they can charge. They'll charge as much as they can charge. There's no limit. They'll charge the maximum that some insurance company will, will possibly pay. That That's... Even if they don't have to do anything, they're just giving you a ride to the hospital. And all that money is like coming out of people's pockets somewhere with the government. The US healthcare system is totally broken. I mean, maybe they have better equipment and better, you know, more modern stuff than, than a lot of European countries like say Hungary or somewhere in, in, in Central European countries, but, but still like it's totally broken and corrupt. I mean, maybe the technology, they don't have as much machines and stuff like that, but I'd rather have, you know, I'd rather have it like this. Wow, night there. You're driving me crazy, dude. When my mom was in the in the nursing home, when she was rehabilitating from being like falling, that place where she was at, man, would have been totally destroyed by coronavirus. Man, Osmiris is is tough. I was reading all these articles about. They're doing a lot of investigations into that stuff now. So, so much corruption. He's avoided every sort of trick I have. Not allowing me any tactics. I wanted to play Rook takes F3 sacking in exchange. Wouldn't let me. Damn it. I can't keep my rook down there. 
It's just too likely to get trapped or something. It's unbelievable my score. How can I be 38 and 1 against Osmiers? He's just too good. It's like inconceivable. He has an answer for everything here, too. If knight a5, he happens to have knight e5 in that position. Looks like I have to, I don't know, maybe e5. <sighs> Check, but only sucks. We all know that. Queen f4. He's getting aggressive now. Cocky, cocky even, I would say. Could have repeated position by playing queen e3. I was, I was having trouble making progress. It's all about the pawn structure, you know. He can't use his queenside majority, but now my kingside majority is in full full bloom here. When I couldn't get it out, and get it working. I was bottled up and I, I wasn't better. But if you let this pawn majority, as I said, like blossom, I mean, black is just winning. With that position with the queen on e3, queen on e2, I should say, I don't know how to make progress here. If I play f5 and you have knight g3, I can't play e5. You have knight takes f5. The knights just control all the squares. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. But now everything works. I have e4. He has no place to put his knight, just lost a piece. Game over. Jim, what are you talking about? Bishop c5 in correspondence game. The game that you should have won? You're talking to me? You had like a one move tactic. Oh, the new one. You better ask Morales and some, uh, actually Morales is the expert. I don't know, I've never played that, but I was looking at it. What is that, you know? I just wondered. Why not? Stefanovic and Hiroku. But I think you could just keep the position there and, and I don't know how I'm making progress. And this is a new opponent. When you pulled your rook back from d3, was knight d4 a threat? I don't think so. I mean, his pawn is on c3. Oh, you mean blocking. Are you talking about him trapping my exchange? You mean him playing knight d4? Yeah. Yeah, I was aware of that. In fact, I even thought it's possible I can sack an exchange. Maybe it would even be an opportunity for me in some sort of positions. Because I was having trouble like doing anything dynamic. Yeah, we'd have to really look at it a little bit closer, I think. 
but it definitely was something that I'm aware of. Um, yeah, it's like a classic way to lose the exchange. Being too aggressive with your pieces inside em enemy enemy territory. Emony. Here we go again. In the 5-3 games, I'm playing too slow, and I'm drifting in time pressure. The other problem with my, my system is that I have challenges between 5-3 and 7 plus 3, and um, the 7-3 games give me a false sense of security. When I start playing the longer ones, it gives me extra time to sort of talk, and, and that's why I lost on time that other game to Mr. Killy. Because I start thinking that every game is 7 plus 3, the hazard of double rooks. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I thought he had 94 in one moment, but I could sack the exchange for dynamic chances. I kind of wouldn't mind. Maybe I should play c5 here. I have a huge hole at b5, though. Kind of a traditional no no. This is bar standard. I don't really like symmetrical structures, so that's why I don't play d4, d5. If I wanted to play d4, d5, I would play it on move one, you know? And that's why I kind of gravitate toward not playing this d5 move. But unfortunately, in the Queen's Indian, you more or less have to do it a lot at some point. I don't know. Generally, any kind of structure like this with a bishop on d2 is considered sort of feeble for white. I mean, this, this isn't great, you know. It would like to be outside the pawn chain. Still, it's not, not that bad. And 85. Kind of standard Queens Indian. I lost a position like this a couple of years ago. <laughs> it sounds weird to say that. But it left a very bad taste in my mouth. It was like F4, Queen F3. If I could trade off his knight on E5, um, I pretty much like balance the game out. That's that's his best piece. Now it's nothing special. A4 might be a good move. <clears throat> Interesting positional decision. Huh. I would evaluate this position as like sort of equal. I mean, I don't know. Why should either side have a significant advantage here? It's kind of difficult to, to call. It's possible that black is a tiny bit better because I have two pawns on the fourth rank and he has just one. You could make an argument for that. Very minor positional sort of factor. Uh-oh, now we're gonna lose our pawn. So. I have to come back. <laughs> so much for bishop d6. He seems like a good positional player. This is a strong move now, improving. It's 
So he made the bad bishop good again. Donald Trump would be proud. That's subtle. All jokes aside. That's a subtle concept. Advanced. White's playing this basically perfectly. This is double-edged because of the placement of Rook. And he's fast too, 1700. Now, it's a tough call. The knight on b5 is really strong. That is annoying. You have to admit. Another thing is like knight f6, he would take on c5 and smash my pawn structure. I can't be having that. Game is equal. Second force him to weaken his king side. go again. I don't know, man. 1700. That's a uh, pretty strong 1700 positionally. It's like playing my friend Kosich Dragon or something. He basically plays like this with white. I don't think white could play it any better. I don't even know what my plan is here. I'm gonna just offer a draw. Slightly worse. I have no time. Secretly playing a GM. Maybe not, but he played like really well. Declining the draw here. That's interesting. Shows a lot of confidence. He's 1500 in bullet chess. Um, Okay. Queen F6 would win in that position. Right? No, maybe not. Yeah, it should. Seventeen hundred. We're supposed to believe that here.
Like, what is this? You're a 1700 player who's 1500 in bullet. Yeah, right. You're playing like Dmitry Yakovenko. I feel like I just played the second game with Dr. Killy or something. It's ridiculous, dude. Now he has queen f6, no? He made five inaccuracies, one mistake. I mean, I wouldn't have a problem if my opponent was like 2100 or something, but I have a problem with it being 1700, you know, and that fast and flagging me with two minutes left on the clock. You know, I, I mean, that's not believable that your, your bullet rating is like, whatever. It's like, you're not 1500. That's not right. You're not 1700 in blitz and play that fast. Give me a break. Why do, why do these people troll me? Like, really have your 2200 friend play against me or what? It's so boring, you know? I'm sorry, I declined your challenge there by accident. This guy basically played like a master level game and I lost on time because I'm just kind of pissed. Even this move, I mean, dude, really? But Bishop A3. And now I need to find some kind of tactical solution to save myself. I'm just, you know, seriously, dude. I'm not going to play these people anymore. You know, once they, they pull this like 1700 accounts that play like masters. I feel like it's the same guy with like seven different accounts or something. How can that person like explain that their bullet rating is 1500? when they're flagging me with two minutes left in the equal position in the middle game of a blitz game. <laughs> this, this variation I hate. This is my attempt to improve on theory. The other thing that I think that people do is they cheat by using the opening explorer. And I think that it's really, really widespread. Like probably extremely heavily used. They double check that their moves are still within the opening book on, um, and I'm, you know, it's very difficult to police that. How are you going to prove that they were using an opening book? This goes back to why you can't have online tournaments. This variation is basically why I quit playing the Ray T with white. The 
Roku 1684. It's just one after another. They're exactly the same. They play like they're 2100, but they're rating 16 or 1700. Okay, anybody can play this variation. It's extremely simple for black. I'm done playing the Rati. At least in tournament games. I'm not going to play it anymore. It's just nothing for white. I don't know why he played h6. It's a very stupid move. theme of today's stream is ambulance sounds and losing on time to 1700s who play perfectly <sighs> I need to go for a long walk I don't want to put too much emphasis on bullet ratings because I don't have any bullet rating, but I'm a very rare example of someone who just like, you know, I religiously won't play bullet because I think that it's bad for your chess, but nobody else is like me. Some people, everybody at least has like 50 or hundred bullet games. It gives you an indication of generally how fast they're capable of playing if they have to play fast. If the last guy's bullet rating is 1500, it means he can't play fast, yet he can flag me with two minutes left. That doesn't make sense, you know? If you can flag me with two minutes left in a 5 plus 3 game and you're rated 1700, you know, probably your bullet rating should be like 2000 or something. Because your strength would be based on speed, wouldn't it? And if you make no mistakes and you play super fast, then how are you 1500 in bullet? The H6 is the only move that's a mistake for black here. Otherwise it's a perfect setup. Well, 1700s are crushing 2483s on time and 5 plus 3 blitz. I wonder if f4 is a mistake. Maybe. Probably not, though. If he plays d4, what do I do? Do I push? And if knight g4, he can't play that. I'll close the center. This is experimental, this idea of putting the knight on the side here, but I got so bored with with the standard position that I decided to try something different. This was actually a product of the engine, playing knight a3. So now things get interesting. He's suddenly closing the center. I can play rook f1. I'm not sure I can hold that pawn. I can't play rook f1, it's illegal. Other than that, it's good. Heroku is a little bit like all of my opponents. Their score seems a lot worse than, than it should be.
I feel like Heroku's play is way beyond 31 to 3. Every game is like I'm suffering to try to win and somehow I win by a miracle at the end or something. Maybe they're all the same person. All these mysterious accounts that play me regularly but, but don't talk. We got a number of them. Here we go. He's not 1684. Plays extremely well. You can go, go through these games. Take a day, go through these games. And look how well he played. You won't see slaughters where I killed the guy. He was crushed. Almost never. You will not see wipeouts in this in this games. Extremely solid play by Black. Yeah, our investigator is not here today. We're trying to start a kingside attack. Standard counterplay on the queen side. Could get ugly. Now that's a weird move. You got to admit that that b4 is just a positional mistake, isn't it? He had b takes c, I would have to take back with the d pawn, but he could hold off on that and do it a little bit later or something. Now it looks like he's really collapsing. I'm surprised. making my words look unjustified. He's really playing like 1600 now, letting me just like checkmate him down the H file. It's gonna be almost impossible for Black to prevent it here. He's trying to run away. Yeah, see, that's heads up. No way it actually made him. It's gonna take some process. It's, could be an F6. I need, a, I need a professional investigator to do the leg work, DK guy. Bob really enjoys his work. <laughs> it's kind of a weird move in a way to play F6. Got an H4. This doesn't look good. I liked his game until he decided to play B4 on the queen side and close the position. Now he's just in trouble. Still not so easy to break through. My rook could easily get trapped, by the way. 
That's annoying. He's still holding. Maybe I have rook h8. Honestly, I hate this kind of position. This conglomeration seems kind of weird. Painful to even play. I don't even think I'm winning. 1684. More conspiracies, please. Is he finally collapsing here? Queen A5. Now there's a tactic. Bishop takes g5. I also have a check on h7. That actually looks pretty good. Instant. Defenestrating. Please, no more ambulances. <gasps> I almost sung a piece. He's 1600. The ambulances are seriously trolling me. I feel like I barely won this game. But go back here. Why why are you playing B4 in this position? So the engine has him actually better at this point, suggesting the insane G6. But seriously, this is a mistake before closing it up. Okay, an Indian Indian player rated 1500 bullet, but 2000 classical. You better not be just like that other guy who flags me at move 20. That's what I was afraid of at one point, Blobix, that the ambulance were really empty. I'm serious. I had this conspiracy theory. Do you know? Do you remember when I had that? Are you are you are you serious? I was believing that. They just kept them full, you know, but that was pre pandemic. That was like last year. I had a conspiracy theory that the ambulances were really just, there were too many. There couldn't be that many patients. They just kept them running. You know, that, that seriously was, was one of my conspiracy theories. I mean, now you can say, oh, it's a pandemic. Of course it makes perfect sense. But before it was like an ambulance every five minutes. Are you serious? Even in like the city center. I started to think that it had to be some kind of training. Maybe they're training runs or something. I don't know, you know. I think they do training, training runs. This is almost just like the other game. Coincidence? <laughs> I hate this stuff. Wow, G3. So the long diagonal. Interesting approach. I've never had anyone play that before. Trying to get the bishop to a better diagonal. That's cool. But then again, why wouldn't you just play g3 in the first place? Oh, 
All right, g3 in the first place here is not an option. You should probably just play knight f3 and g3. Don't fear bishop takes f3. <sighs> just as hard. Then you die. That's all there is to it. This move. Is he forced to release the tension there? It's still fine for white though. This IQP, no problem. I take no issue with that. I wonder if knight d7, knight d5, bishop d2, like knight takes b6 or something. He probably has a tactic. It's really pissing me off. So if I can't play knight d7 because of knight d5, bishop d2, knight takes b6. I'm angry. Are you serious? I guess I should play knight f6 or something. It's kind of a weird move to play. But I am not going to let that happen. That tactic is just evil. Because it's an automatic move. If I wasn't thinking I would play knight d7, knight d5, bishop d2, automatic recapture, here I just lose a pawn. I mean, I might have a little bit of compensation, but there would be, like, groveling for a draw for the next 20 moves. That's what I'd be doing. I guess you could take on c3 there. There's a case to be made for bishop takes c3. It looks like a weird c3 Sicilian now. Knight, knight c6, knight e5, another very dynamic move for my opponent. So 17 and 14, very solid. a6 may be slow. Hoping this is a mistake. But it's hard to get my pieces out. The rook a seven. Fancy maneuver. Maybe not a good move. See, that's subtle. That's a little subtle. See, again, 1500 in bullet. Like, how does that work? I don't get it. White is okay, it's about equal. Black might be like microscopically better if I play perfectly here. He's probably rated like feet A twelve hundred. I mean, everybody plays bullet except for me. So it's relevant for everyone else except for me, basically. Like 1% of the population of online chess players don't play bullet chess. I'm firmly in that 
So obviously my bullet rating doesn't matter. <laughs> Since I don't have one. Blobix claims I could be I could be solid in the O4 bullet category, but it's a matter of principle. Give me pawn. We might win the game if we can win that B-pawn for free. <clears throat> I wish more people were still in the to blitz. It'd be reassuring. We got another challenge. New opponent. From position? What? How can I check what position it is? Can you do that? Am I supposed to just accept some random challenge? Does anybody know how to see what position he's challenging me to? I used to play 2-0 in my, my old days. Never liked it though. I would do it reluctantly. Whoa. Was White got some tactic here with, with like Rook takes E6 or something? Yeah, but that's a lot of material to give up. He just like panicked. Surya Shikar Ganguly. I played Ganguly a couple of games. One of them was an epic, like, battle. Ganguly. He was a good kid. All right. But no, I mean, it's like I didn't win the game. White just gave it to me. He just sacked in exchange for nothing. That's the best. Make it easy for me. I don't know if I was winning. I mean, I was better. Unlike the Serbian guy, White actually made some slave mistakes. Well, I'm assuming he was Serbian. He had a Serbian-like name. Not that it matters. I have to be in the mode, you know, if I'm going to play Sudden Death, Fast Blitz, like 2-0. I need practice and warm up. You got queen c7 now. Oops. Okay, this is gonna start getting problematic. I have to be careful. <sighs> mm hmm. Couldn't I have played f6 maybe? Last move. I'm not happy about this. Now he's got a little bit of confusion going on. You know, honestly, it, it took me a long time to get used to playing on Lee Chess on the browser because it was much different somehow when I played on Internet Chess Club. The movement was, felt very different. Yeah, I've got to be careful here. I mean, there's Queen F4, other good stuff, Knight C6. I could be screwing this up.
He's up to 56 seconds against 30 now. I blundered, but it might be okay. Wow. Blundered knight c6. Got me. Now I'm lucky if I if I win. It's amazing. What a surprise. It's a draw. We're all very surprised. He outplayed me. He's he's fifteen hundred in bullet. Of course. What did you expect? G six over King F eight. What does it matter, dude? You're, you're crying after the, the horse has left the barn. It's all a draw, dude. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, good game. Standard 1500 bullet player seems to be more and more common here. So I'm actually winning completely. This is unbelievable. I'm still winning somehow? Oh man, how? So here I had rookie eight. But he already had me down to like 15 seconds. I'd given up. Because the point is I have 97 king f8 in this position. No, he's a standard 1500. Draws with IMs every day. All right, I don't know what this, this is. What is this? Five plus three from position. What position? Yeah, that was great. It's really funny. Not surprised he's a fan of the Eric Rosen fan club. All right, anyway. I don't know, it's just a moronic waste of time. Get a lot of that around here. This opponent is not here. I don't know anything about Eric Rosen, man. I'm just randomly insulting people. <sighs> that was cool. This is really useful. Thanks. All right. Guys, we have 25 minutes left for my stream and I'm getting trolled and opponents who don't show up after challenging me. I wanna thank Jim, donated 500 bits today. I'm handing out draws, 1200, what are you, 1500 in, in bullet? You're 1200 bullet. I have a chance to beat this guy. If he was 1500, I would just offer a draw. But because he's 1,200, I think we're going to go for it.
You know, actually, I play this a lot. C5. What happens if, like, takes on C5 here? What about that? I mean... Maybe I can play some really weird move. Nah, there's nothing special. I just have to take and then B4. That should be okay for white, I would think. How's your Russian, Asterbate? Good for you? <clears throat> Asterbate's, it's a phonetic spelling. You can never really trust, you can never really trust his exact representation. Knight C3. If B4, Knight B5, I'm a little worried about that. His plan is to play E4. I've never faced this. Quite an interesting move. Maybe I can play B4. It's gonna be kind of sharp. This doesn't feel right. English cursing. I come for the English cursing with the Russian accent. That sounds good. It's a good time. Fun. So this is sharp now. Knight b5, a little bit of Nescafe frap attack. He doesn't do it. He plays knight a4. So the point is, like, knight b5 isn't trapped here. Well, I mean, first of all, a6, my rook is pinned. Secondly, he has knight d4. So I think that's clearly better. The knight B in knight B five is clearly better than knight A four, first of all. What is a Weedick? Maybe it's not so clear. At the end of the day. I'm beginning to wonder. This is a really strange move, but I was creeped out by bishop b7, e4. We're just going to try to take him out developmentally. But I do have problems with my queen side. My king is at least castled now. Not really a standard 1200. Extremely aggressive play by white. This move I don't like, but it's probably not that bad. Maybe it wins material. We can sack and exchange though. I'm afraid we're getting trolled again. 1200. I mean, seriously. He's using his smartphone or something. Maybe it's it's like he wins the exchange, but Black has the initiative. 
yeah, this is ridiculous. I should just re resign just because he's not 1200. Tired of people having like fake ratings and trolling me, playing like positional games of the, of the like 2100 level when you're rated 1200. I won't play you anymore and I'll just, you know, ban people and, and report them if I think they're using computers. But I mean, seriously, this is like sophisticated positional game. What is the deal, dude? Are you really, you, you're really 1200? I'm not sure that knight b6 was his best move. I think it lost the initiative, and it was probably very smart not to play knight b6. Actually, knight b6 was probably a mistake for white. It's just a greedy materialistic move. The John Spielman fan club. I'm just going to resign. I'm not going to play people who are like freaking playing at this level and they're 1200. All right. If you do it again, I'll report you as being a computer or rating manipulation. But this is absurd. Maybe five is really the best move here. It's actually very strong. Like, I don't know what his game is. He's not using the computer for all of his moves to play the best moves, but he's not 1200. He's not even close. And I'm tired of these people like trolling me. Like, seriously. Do you think because it's like a casual game, you can't get banned for rating manipulation? Like I know people who are, who are getting banned for rating manipulation that don't even like deserve it, you know? I'm just, it's ridiculous, you know? How can you be 1,200? It's just the principle of the thing. I don't want to play people who are playing like a thousand points better than, than their rating. I mean, damn it, why can't I get back to where I was? Like, nobody's going to believe that you're 1,200. You don't play like a 1,200. You're more like 2,000. And I'm not interested in playing people who play like a 1,000 points higher than the rating. You're like the fourth one today. And I'm just not going to deal with it anymore. LVN. Morwa did this against me like last week <laughs> except it was knight c6 knight c3 i don't want to play people's smartphones you know it's not interesting i have a smartphone right here i can play against it i want to play against other humans At least play like within 500 rating points of whatever your rating is. That was a subtle game by White, you know. I feel like I'm playing like a Fide 2000, 2100 or something, not a 1200. It just angers me, you know.
I don't want to waste my time. I want to play real people who, who really are what they say they are. LVN, I don't know about this pawn sacrifice. It may be dangerous in a, in a practical. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to trade here. In a practical setting, he has some compensation for a sacrifice pawn. But it's crazy. A3 is the best move. On move three. D4, knight f6, c4, e6, a3. That's that guy, he, Heroku's move. He played it a million times against me. If you're 1200, you better not play like you're 2000. What? What? I don't want to play 1200s who play like 2000s. I'm too paranoid already. Um, Jim, what game are you talking about? A3. This is not good. I can't remember now. What was our what was our previous game? See, I have Astrobate to show me what like, you know, a legitimate 1500 is. And if you play better than him, you're not 1200. I've been playing chess for like 30 years. I had and I was 1275 at one point. I have a concept of approximately how well people should play at certain rating levels. I've been every rating. I've been 1200, 1300, 1400, 1500, etc. And I've been a maximum of 2500 USCF and and 24 70 P day. If I even have the remotest feeling that you're manipulating or, or you're not the real strength that you should be, I'm gonna just resign or abort the game or whatever. It's just ridiculous. Why are you wasting my time? I've had like three or four games that just wasted my time here today. It's very daunting. Oh, the, the game against the guy that drew, okay. Wait, what are you talking about? No, I mean the previous one. Instead of knight b8, six. E3 instead of winning the exchange. The last game was weird, you know, that's not a 1200. It's kind of a subtle play. Some people don't realize I can tell, you know. Rook F8. This is the paranoid stream today. Yes, yes, a 1200 might miss knight b6. 1200 wouldn't be in that position in the first place. Twelve hundreds are dropping pieces, making one move tactical mistakes. I, I don't need a computer to tell me that knight b six is probably not not his best move. I'm, I'm sure it's not.
LVN's problem is that he's too too much trying to have fun and play wild and crazy stuff. It's been a bad day for me. Village Lord asked to unban Lemonade Master. Is Village Lord Lemonade Master? Is that why? If Village Lord is Lemonade Master, unban him? Like, on, on, on where? On Twitch? But you already have another account. <laughs> What's the problem? Or is Lemonade Master a different person? It's all too confusing for me. We're just winning. Too wild play by LVN. I mean, he's 2087, and he's played far worse than that 1200. Not, I don't mean to hurt his feelings, but at least he's legitimate, you know. 2087 on a bad day. Versus 1200 on a good day. Could be a very ugly thing. He stole all the rating points from the 1200. LVN. Now, LVN plays crazy ideas. You know, he's capable of, of playing really well. But, like, this opening, I mean, come on. He's sacrificing a pawn on move two, move three. It's just too, it's too extreme. All right, guys, gotta go. Unless we have a last... A last challenge from one of the regulars. We're not getting enough challenges from the subscriber guys. So I'm playing a lot of randoms. I think that pawn sack we had against Marwa. Scarred. They've been scarred. But look at my score today. Okay, I aborted this game. The 1200 Panzer Postman, I resigned, but I didn't really play. Why does that say playing right now? What? What happened here? Why does it say this is playing right now? That's a weird error. We already finished the game. How can I be playing right now? Did I accept a rematch or something? Wait, I'm playing right now against Surya? What is that? That's weird. It's like some kind of error. I offered a rematch? Oh, I don't remember aborting it. That's weird. Anyway, this this game was a tough 1700. I lost that on time. Not an easy day. I meant to click on the analysis thing and I sent a rematch button. Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right, guys, I'll be back um, tomorrow night. We're gonna have the Ponda Rapid Arena and I think it'll be just the Ponda and Horses Club. So I'll send out a message to remind everybody to come tomorrow for that 
6 30 p.m. tomorrow night CEST is our next stream Ponder Rapid I will see you guys then thanks for for the support Wow there's some strong 1500s 1200s good games impressive bye bye